Good morning, guys. So now moving on to the next question. Uh, mean in 10 n is equal to f6. So we are calling this function f6. So here the x is 6, right? So we are calling this function f6. This is your x, right? So if x is equal to equal to 2, condition false. So else print f plus. So what we will print? Plus gets printed. And then function x minus 1. So this is f of 5, right? Now, when you call this function f5, your x is now 5. So x is equal to equal to 2, condition is false. So else print f plus. So again we are printing a plus here. Then your f of 4, right? So when f4, then again when you call f4, x becomes 4. So 4 is equal to equal to condition true. Again one more plus and then f3. When you call f3 again a plus then your f2. Right. And when you call f2 your x is 2. So this becomes what? x is equal to equal to 2. So means 2 is equal to equal to condition true. So it returns what? It returns 2. Right. It returns 2. So what is the answer when it returns 2? So it returns 2, 2 gets stored in this function, n is equal to 2 and that's get printed. But before that you are printing 1, 2, 3, 4. Before that there are 4 plus you are printing and then when you call this function x becomes 2, so return 2. So 2 is getting stored in this function, right? So n that 2 gets printed. So that's the answer. Fine. Okay. So now moving on to the next question. Now it says that A is equal to F10. So you are calling this function here. It is F10. Fine. So if B is equal to equal to 0 condition false as print F A. So you print A. It is F B minus minus. It is not minus minus b, it's b minus minus. So again it is f10 only. So again when you call this function b becomes 10. So again it will print a and this is again f10 and this continues. So you are printing, you get a infinite number of time. And you will not get a chance to return something to this. So this won't get printed. So I think it will be a, a, a infinite number of time. Right. And maybe it's possible that at one time when you call the function recursively, this A will occupy your entire stack space. And at that time, it overflows and make sure your runtime error, that stack overflows. Right. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.